Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series on pharmacological classification of drugs. In this video, I will explain the mechanism and classification of central skeletal muscle relaxants. Now, central skeletal muscle relaxants cause skeletal muscle relaxation by acting at central nervous system, either at brain or at spinal cord. As a group, all of them causes CNS depression. Hence, the common adverse effect is sedation. There are four major classes are there. One, mephenicin congeners or mephenicin analogs. Drugs in this category are carisoprodor, chlorajoxazone, chlormezanone, methocarbamol. Now, all these drugs inhibit polysynaptic reflexes and they are very useful to treat spasms caused by sprain or by spondylosis. Now the second group is benzodiazepines like diazepam, clonazepam. Benzodiazepines act enhance GABA neurotransmission. GABA is an inhibitor in neurotransmitter and causes CNS depression and these drugs are widely used to treat many kind of spasms. Especially they are very effective to treat spinal injury caused spasms and tetanus uh, caused spasms. The third one is GABA B agonist. Understand this, GABA-A is a chloride channel, ion channel. GABA-B is a G-protein coupled receptor. Now the drug in this class is Baclofen. Baclofen is a GABA-B agonist which increases potassium conductance and causes hyperpolarization. And this is also used to treat multiple sclerosis and spinal injury caused spasms. Now, the fourth one is Tizanidine. Tizanidine is a centrally acting alpha-2 agonist. Unlike Clonidine which is also alpha-2 agonist, it cannot be used, tizanidine cannot be used to treat hypertension. It alpha 2 activation causes excitatory neurotransmitter release inhibition and hence it causes sinus depression and it is also used to treat multiple sclerosis as well as spinal injury caused spasms. This is about the central skeletal muscle relaxants.